This flight will see quite a few oddities. The commander of this mission was originally supposed to fly two flights ago, the pilot was supposed to fly on Starliner, and one crew member will double the current Japanese presence on board the ISS. Commander Zena Cardman was bumped from the Crew-9 launch along with fellow astronaut Stephanie Wilson to allow those two empty seats to be used by Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They remained on the ISS after their Starliner capsule was deorbited without them due to safety concerns. This is something that we train for, we're ready for as astronauts, and most important to me was ensuring safety of the mission. She had already trained as the Crew-9 commander for 18 months, so does she have to retrain on everything for this flight? For the Dragon training specifically, we did go through that entire training flow again. Even though that spacecraft is now very familiar to me, really, really felt it was important to go through that training with my crew. and. It's not only about the technical side of things or learning the procedures or learning the systems. It's about how you work together as a team. Pilot Mike Fink had to train for an entirely different vehicle. He was originally slated to fly on the Starliner 1 mission, but following the issues with the crew flight test, it was decided that he would shift to Dragon. It was a, a, a change uh, to, go to, uh, to go from all the terminology and the acronyms and the systems of one spacecraft uh, and move over to another one pretty quickly. Fortunately, I had uh, been working with the commercial crew program since like 2013, so I, I wasn't completely a, a noob to, uh, to, to drag him. Mike previously spent Expeditions 9 and 18 aboard the station before spending two weeks on the orbiting laboratory on STS-134, the final flight of the space shuttle Endeavour. My first mission, there were two people. Uh, second mission, there were, uh, you know, were three of us at any one time. And now we're going to have a seven-person crew. So how to get along with so many brothers and sisters. Now this flight will use Crew Dragon Endeavor. So does he now have a favorite Endeavor? I'm very partial to, to Shuttle Endeavor. But we just got to see Dragon Endeavor last week. There's an ex-girlfriend and a new girlfriend if you want to look at it that way. So we'll, we'll see how it is. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Kamiya Yui will make his second trip to space after flying aboard the Russian Soyuz vehicle in 2015. He will join current station commander and fellow JAXA astronaut classmate Takuya Onishi. He actually set hurdle very high for me, so I just want to work very hard to overcome, I mean, <laughs> his ability. <laughs> that way, <laughs> Grand Team would impress me. Yui hopes to show the world the unity happening aboard the ISS. I just want to send a lot of positive message for the uh, people, not only in Japan, but all, all over the world. ISS is a good example for the Unite World Corporation. NSF will have live launch coverage when Crew 11 takes to the skies from LC-39A in Florida. So stay tuned.